You know, this is the place you can come and tangibly almost touch, at least lay your hand on the glass and get close to the magic. What it is, it feels like holding a piece of history. It's like a time machine. There's so much power in it. And to see it here. It's sacred stuff back there. Instruments especially. They're beautiful behind glass, but they love being played. Holding that guitar was pretty magical. I have no business holding Keith Whitley's guitar. I mean, that's Earl Scruggs. The banjo never sounded like that until Earl came along. Feels like I can play better. <laughs> I'm worried about my hands sweating on her neck. Whoa. It's pretty, pretty sound. This might be the first sort of famous guitar that I've actually been able to play. Because all those names that are mentioned are giants. There has always been Loretta Lynn. Singing Randy Travis's song, especially beside his guitar. Johnny's guitar. Boodle O'Brien's guitar. And Johnny's song. This is number eight, the eighth guitar guy built to touch something that has been touched by the great Dr. John or even Ronnie Millsap. I can't even explain that kind of feeling. I felt that I have John Prince string grease on my fingers. I don't want to wash my hands. It's been a long time since I've played it. If this guitar could talk, you know, the stories it could tell. I'd like to have heard a lot more. <laughs> Think about all of the music that was made with this. To be here, hold this guitar, I got goosebumps. Sweet dreams of you Every night I go through 